Ooh, good. We work our back. Okay, we're gonna stretch it out. So first thing first, arms are just gonna come up. Pull them out. Feel that stretch. Stretch right here. Pull it. Come on down. Pull it. Down we go. Up. Pull it. We're actively pulling it away. Come back down. Let's do that one more time, okay? Pull it up and away. Down together. When you come over, the stretch comes up the back of your legs, but it's also getting your lower back right here. Now all the way up. Come on down. Pull yourself in. Pull yourself up. Pull the shoulders back. Pull yourself over and back down again. Up, shoulders back. One more time. Down, all the way down. Come all the way up. Hands up. Up overhead. Actually, feet are together. You're pulling straight up. You're hitting your side less. And I like to add a little lean to the side. Ten tenths of by one side. Hold it up there. Hold it up there. Back center, straight up. And back over to the side. Hold it, hold it. Really tight. <laughs> ah, straight up again. Ah, come on down. If you have something to sit on, take a seat. Feet are in front. Leg up and over those feet. Pull your body forward. Up and over those feet. Up on those legs. Stretching on that back. Come on up. Now, if you have a chair, a wall, or something, if you don't, it's fine. You just put your out. Otherwise, put your hands on the wall. Your feet are down, and you're pushing back. So wherever you can go, where your feet are going to come, your body's going to be straight over your feet. Pull yourself down. Up, back again. And come on up, walking it back over. We're going to kick it to the floor. We're going to curl our knees in first. Just kind of hold them. Kind of hold them in there. Now, if you go into the happy baby, if you pull it in just a little bit more, we'll rock it. Give yourself a little back massage. Rock it, rock it. I know happy baby looks funny, but just do it anyways. Knees together. Ready? Pull yourself up to sit. And you're gonna be over the legs. If you gather first, sit up tall, tall, extend yourself forward to those legs. Come on up, roll the arms in. Now it's gonna be, we we'll go out wide first. Before we do the other one, we're gonna come out, we're gonna go one side. Go to the other side.
and center. Walk your hands straight forward first. Stretch out as far as you can. Walk those hands. Come back in. All right, so now for your lower back. You're gonna be here, feet are up, up, over, pull it over, up, down. Curl it up, up, over. to puppy to child's pose to finish it off, okay? Come on up. Go ahead and give me one cat. Another cat. Just cats. Pulls it up the cats. All right, legs are up. Did you get it? Stay together, hands come out in front of you. Pull your body back and into puppy. Feel that stretch in the upper back, really good. <sighs> come back, open the legs just a little bit. Pull yourself back to child's pose. Walk those hands all the way up. <sighs> you know I gotta add at least one twist in there, right? It's up and over. We're sitting up tall. Putting our elbow on the outside. And we're twisted. Oh, other side. Get it up there. Twist it really good. Looking at the clock, say we have a couple more minutes. Let's just come up here real fast. Push to tower dog. And step it through. Keep the opposite hand in the mat. Twist it up. Up and back. Hand back to the mat. Step it back. Now we're done. Another foot steps forward. Opposite hand stays in the mat. Twist and open. And the mat. Step it back. Pull it back to down dog. Walk it back to forward fold. Oh, hold it down. Oh, come all the way up. Alright. So it's just shy of 10 minutes. So come up. Lean it to the side. This one felt really good when we did it early, so I'm just going to hit it one more time. Just relax a little bit. Ah, and to the other side. Straight up, double back. Ah, oh, come center. All right, so here's our stretches for our back. 
definitely need it, especially after working as much as we did today. But we do this. We don't skip the stretches. I used to skip the stretches and just do a little bit after each workout. But I've learned that that final stretch, even if it's only five minutes, it helps so much. Because if you just don't stretch, your muscles get tighter and tighter and tighter, and you lose your flexibility. So you can't just be all bulk and lose your flexibility. You gotta be flexible to be able to move, get your cardio in, keep your body moving, checking it off, and getting it done.